Hi and welcome. My name is Javier Roman from Spain. Uh, this video is going to explain the stat focus function of the magic lantern. Well, I'm using a Canon 5D Mark II with a version 2.1.2. Exactly. And the magic lantern is version 2.3. I'm also using a macro lens, 100 millimeter Canon, which is called the LISUSM. The IS function is disabled, and the autofocus function is enabled. Well, actually, the start focus function only works in the live view. So let's go to live view. Here we have our, our subject. And then we call the magic lantern by pressing, as usual, the erase button. Now we're going to set uh, in the overlay menu, we're going to set the global draw to on all modes and the focus peak to D2XY3OG in order to get the focus mark. More about this maybe in another video. Okay, now we go to the focus menu and we set the focus follow to arrows, you see there. The focus step size to two, it can set to one, it can be set to one to three. I usually set it to two. The focus step delay, 640 milliseconds, which is the maximum, and no wait. You can play around with the settings and also get good results. Now, very important, the focus endpoint. To, to set the focus endpoint, well, we, get, we go out of this uh, menu, pressing the race. In live view, now we got to set the, the, the farthest point. You, you could also set the near, nearest point, but I usually set the farthest point with, this, uh, with the arrows of the microcontroller, okay? You get very fast. Huh? So we are setting the focus in this, in this uh, place. Once do you have to set it, you go back uh, to Magic Latin again with the erase, and you set focus, select the focus endpoint, and you press the set. So now the endpoint is setting there. Now, now to set the near point, then this is the only way uh, it really works uh, for me um, in my camera is you select the endpoint uh, function and you press the, mic, mic, the multi controller, pressing, not uh, left and right, but just pressing. Okay? And now with the left and right, only with the left and the right, yeah, you set the focus to the near points. In this case, this one. In this case, you use the right. Okay. So now the focus goes to this point. It's actually quite slow. But you see now, it's over here. Okay. So now, and also the, the point says, is 24 steps from here, actually from there. So you press now the, the multi-controller, pressing, not, not uh, left and right, it's very important, just pressing. Okay, so now we have it. Now we have uh, um, five pictures with 21 steps, because the step size is, uh, sorry, the step size is five, uh, you will get five pictures. If you make the step size bigger, you will get less pictures. If you make the step size smaller, okay, you will get more pictures. Three is okay, five also, I wouldn't make more than 10. Depends on the subject. Okay, so the rack delay is a delay in seconds. I set this to zero. Okay, so you go through and I set it to uh, Zero. The rough focus is a very interesting function because it simulates this uh, uh, start focus. Eh? So you select it and then you, you press set and the blue LED lights and it will go from this point to the other, yeah, making all the focusing, focusing but uh, taking no pictures actually. It's only a simulation. Okay. When the LED uh, uh, light goes off, then the rough focus is finished. So you see that uh, uh, later all the all the picture will take in this in these places is working good. It's a, it's a it's a test function. You go back to the magic lantern, 
pressing the race. And then you select now the start focus line. And here I select uh, to use the play button, not the, don't, not the trigger button on here, okay? Because I want to separate uh, both of them. Uh, as, as I said, you can say, change the step size and then we'll, we'll change the number of pictures. So, very important, with this line selected, you press the play and the camera will do it uh, by itself, yeah? We take one picture and then focus now again. Um, now here, two pictures. Now focuses again uh, forward with the third picture. Okay, now focus now again here. Four picture. And for the last pictures, it focuses here on the near point. You see it? So that's all. The camera does all that for you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this works also if you connect uh, the camera tether to, to capture one. Yeah. So you get the picture in capture one, uh, develop them, and in Photoshop you can stack all the all the pictures together, and you get an image which is uh, um, focused from this point to to the the other the other point. Yeah. I hope this was uh, helpful. And if you like it, don't forget to press the thumb up. And um, see you next time. Take care. Bye.